with this fund, Sean, how many properties do you are you aiming to flip? Well, with five million bucks, I would say um, that's we could rotate that money at least three times in one year. So, I mean, the number of properties, I, I couldn't really put a number on it because a lot of our turnkey properties are 100K and below, but we have a lot of demand too as well around the 150 mark. So that would make a difference in that 5 million, but we could flip that money no, no less than three times. And, and since you're going to have so much money at your disposal after, after you hit your, your raise, your desired raise, what, what are you able to do? Like what makes this thing, what makes this thing cook? What makes it work? Well, for, for us, it's more of a volume play. So our margins aren't that large, but when you're doing 30 to 50 a month, it kind of helps us cut some of the costs. We've narrowed down costs from construction um, to the acquisition. Obviously from acquisition is where you win. Um, some of the questions that I've got asked previously would have been like, you know, can you still hit that 18 to 20% return on investment like 2011 and 12? No that's not necessarily the case just due to the prices rising for supply and demand. But we still have a strong point. Um, our reputation is really good because we'll close when we say we're going to close uh, and we make a cash offer to cash offer and that all carries, um, carries weight. So we, you know, at acquisitions, then from our construction costs, managing the crews, when you're managing 35 crews, it takes a little small army to do that. When you buy supplies, you're buying supplies in large quantities because I would assume you have some type of systemization to your renovations. I mean, I know at Holton Wise, when we renovate homes, we, they, you know, nine out of 10 homes look pretty much the same. Do you guys do something similar? Well, what we do is I've learned some valuable, valuable lessons. I've lost um, lots of money. That was my money. I've lost by um, just being a novice in some areas. So what I figured out was um, warehousing materials wasn't the best idea for us just because cost is so cheap from the relationship we have at Lowe's or Home Depot. But some of the bigger ticket items like um, appliances, maybe um, hot water tanks, and even roofing material, um, we would we kind of warehouse some of that stuff. A lot of folks, they don't understand this. Like if you're, if you're listening to the show right now and you're just a mom and pop investor, you're starting off like, I know you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and they, and they got the contractor desk, the pro desk, but just because you, you walk yourself up over to that pro desk, you ain't necessarily a pro in their eyes. But once you start doing a hefty volume, they actually have business-to-business -business sales reps that will reach out. And they'll take guys like me. They'll take guys like Sean out to, to sporting events and, you know, buy them beers and hot dogs, things like that to acquire their business. And 